Tell me when the go. Tell me when the go. Tell me when the go. What's up? Where you been at? Now, in case you can't tell, today's gonna be a hot one. It's gonna be a hundred and some degrees. I'm already sweating. So after the cylinder heads were soaking for about like two weeks in the vinegar, we're gonna show you what we ended up with and why we, we need to do a little bit more work on them. All right, so this is the first head that we pulled out of the bucket. Uh, this one soaked for about two weeks. Uh, one week on one side, took it out, flipped it on the other side. And uh, well, it cleaned all right, but I think if we soak it longer, it'll be better because as you can tell from the other one, Bam! Big difference. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, up here though, uh, still needs some more, some more work. There's still crust that needs to come out. Uh, but again, we'll let the vinegar do the work. But that's why we need to do. Uh, you know, we need to soak it some more. But you know what? It don't look bad. So now we know for a fact. You don't want to spend the money on all that expensive stuff. All you need is some vinegar, some salt. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Let it do its magic. You'll get rid of that stuff. Now, is it going to take longer? Yeah, it's going to take longer. But you know what? I'm not paying no... 15 20 dollars a gallon for whatever clr rust removal magic type not doing that nope vinegar so i already went and picked up some more uh some more gallons of uh vinegar man let me tell you something i got some looks when i was picking up i bought eight gallons of vinegar at the grocery store and people were like what does he need so much vinegar for it is what it is, you know? Just trying to get the job done. I'm gonna go open the gate. Uh, we're gonna go bring it in and then uh, fill up that bucket and get them soaking. Oh, bro, look at this. Look at this. Bro, we gotta clean this bucket real quick, bro. Gotta open the gate from the other side though. Let's go. Alright, so I think this is cooling. It looks like next cool. Uh, so what we gonna have to do is we're gonna have to grab a kind of bottle, I guess, and uh, pour it in the bottle. Yeah, I'm not trying to do that right now. But I need, I need, I need the bucket. Try to pour it in here without making a big old mess. Don't know if it's gonna work. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what happens. a little bit of a problem. I ran out of room. Ah. 
So I'm gonna figure. I need to figure out where where I'm gonna put the rest of this. This is holding me up now. It's getting too hot. So here's what I'm gonna do. I don't got time to do all this. Yeah, we're doing it. Problem solved. vinegar and very important don't forget the salt the salt is gonna like make it go faster uh, to a certain point it's obviously not as strong as the other stuff but it helps I just use a wire brush as my stir stick. So we just popped these heads in, and you can already see, bro. Look at that. You see that? I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's bubbles and all kinds of stuff, chemical stuff going on right now. You see that? Science, bro. So for now, all we gotta do is kick back. I'm gonna go grab a cold drink and just let it do its magic. It's already working. So, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so you can stay up to date on all the cool stuff we're about to be doing and follow up on what's gonna happen with this stuff. We'll catch you on the next one. I'm out of here, man.